Hello, MoGraphers. It's Brian McCarthy from Bold and Break. Uh, really cool, quick tip for Cinema 4D and Redshift. Uh, the 3.0 release has added some really cool features. You can now use the Cinema 4D shader graph with Redshift to create your Redshift materials. So to enable the node editor from Maxon, go to Create Material, go down to Tools, use Gnome Materials for Presets, enable that, and then just create your Redshift material. Um, let's apply it to this. And now when you open it, you get this much more user-friendly interface, which is quite nice. So let's just dock it there. Now I did discover you can also use the Maxon noise with Redshift, which is so cool and adds a plethora of options with displacement maps and textures now when you're creating your Redshift materials. Um, and it acts exactly the same. So just drop down your displacement node, plug that into your texture, and then plug that into your displacement. And the reason it's not working is because we need to apply a redshift tag. So bring that up and enable your geometry and enable your tessellation and enable displacement. And this is very cool. Uh, we can now Let's look at the sky for aesthetics. You can now use the Maxon noise in Redshift, which is so awesome. You can use all the ones we're used to playing around with. And let's just bring that right up. Very cool. So Thanks for watching. Uh, remember to hit that subscribe button if you want any further tutorials on Redshift or kind of have any ideas of what you're struggling with in Redshift or maybe even Cinema 4D, do say in the comments below and I'll try and get a video in. Thanks for watching and goodbye.